Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs and it's time for Facebook Friday. We're finally back on schedule on um, the Friday afternoon. It's been maybe a month since we have actually had gotten to do this at Friday, on Friday at two o'clock, which is the time that I normally do it. Summer sure does wreck havoc around here. I can tell you that's for sure. I'm gonna give us a couple of minutes to uh, make sure we're in the right place. Um, hopefully we can get everybody on who wants to get on. My <laughs> lovely daughter has had my iPad and I haven't seen it in a week and I'm thinking, oh my, am I even gonna be able to find Facebook? Yep, there it is, okay, good. Hello everybody, hi Andrea, hi Gina, hi Michelle. It's so good to see you guys. I hope you're having a good summer. Um, so far, happy first day of summer. You know, by the time the first day of summer gets here, I feel like, oh my God, we've been in summer for two months. How is today just the first day? <laughs> I don't know, but I know some of you up north don't feel that way. So, happy first day of summer. Hopefully it is warm where you are. All right, good, we're in the right place. Now, I'm gonna kind of just get started quickly today because I have three projects featuring the Ride With Me bundle. It's the little truck. And I'm gonna get started quickly today because each project takes a little bit of time. They're not super simple projects this week. So, are you ready? Buckle up because we're gonna go quickly. Um, I want to do two announcements. First announcement is my um, Follow Your Heart, no, Follow Your Art class to go, here it is. It is listed, it is up. This class, I've listed it early, usually I do it towards the beginning of the month, but this is the class for July, and I leave um, in less than two weeks for Europe for the um, Stampin' Up! Greek Isles cruise. Um, we're extending, so we're gonna be gone for a while, so I've listed it early. It The deadline isn't for like a month, so you have quite a bit of time to register for it, but if you wanna go ahead and get it out of the way, you can do that, it's open four options, one includes the bundle, one does not include the bundle, one is a PDF only, and one is for my downline. So uh, you can find that on my blog here, are all the cute little projects. There are four projects, um, I'm sorry, there are six projects, and a full color step-by-step -step tutorial PDF that you'll get. Um, let's see, there was something I was gonna tell you about it, and now it's lost, it's left. It's gone. I don't know. Um, oh, that's also on the PDF today. Um, my Facebook Fridays always have a PDF. They look like this. And it's live right now at pinkbuckaroo.com. It's under the last photo. It has all the products typed in there for you and the photos and any measurements that you need. But on the second page are the announcements that I'm telling you. So right here is that follow your art class. And you can click on that link or type it in and you'll find all the details for that class, okay? Now the next one I wanna tell you about the paper shares. I've had so much interest in paper shares this year um, that I've opened it up again. I've started a new sign up. You can get them in six by 12 or six by six. Um, what a paper share is is a piece of every single new piece of designer series paper. Um, also the peacock foil and the Oh, I can't remember the name of it, but the colored vellum. Um, you get a little sample of all of it, either in six by six or six by 12 for my scrapbookers. Um, and these will, I will be ordering them as soon as I have those uh, filled. A group is either four or eight people, depending on which size you get. And as soon as they're filled, I just order the paper, cut and ship it to you. I'm trying to do it really quickly. Um, so if you want a little tiny sample, well not so tiny, six by six, it's larger than a card front. If you would like a sample of every single new designer series paper, you need to make sure you go over there and sign up. That is also right here on the PDF, okay? You can type that link in and you'll find it. Um, or you can just message or email me and I'll send it directly to you, okay? All right, let's see. Next up, how about some prizes? Last week I um, said I would give away two Everything Amazing stamp sets. This is what it looks like. And all you have to do to enter to, enter to win is share the video or go over to pinkbuckaroo.com and enter the little widget at the bottom. And I picked one winner from each, Donna Wilson and Anne Siesliski. 
<laughs> and I'm sorry. I don't have either of your email or either of your mailing addresses, I don't believe. So ladies, message me or email me so I can send you your prizes. Thank you for sharing the video. This week I've got two Daisy Lane stamp sets with some mint macaron ribbon. All right, if you would like to win this, this is our new Daisy stamp set. It matches our, our um, returning punch, as well as our new little baby Daisy punch. It's so cute. Um, so I'm giving away these two. You can enter by sharing this on Facebook. Also going to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, and just type in your name and your email address, and you are entered to win. I will choose winners for that next Friday at two o'clock. All right, if you have never joined me for Facebook Friday before, I do three projects, it's kind of like a class. I pick one product and we focus on that and do three different uh, projects with that product. And then if you like those projects and you want me to mail them to you for free, you order using the host code that's attached to this Facebook Live. Um, and if you put in a minimum order by uh, Monday at midnight, a minimum order is $30 or more, then I send you the make and takes for free. Here are last week's, the little wiggle worm. They come like this in the mail and all you have to do is provide your own stamps and ink and they're ready to go. Um, so that host code this week, you'll see it when I flip the camera around. It's also on the PDF and you will get these in the mail for free. I will mail them next week. Um, if you got the, if you placed an order last week, and by the way, you can order anything you want, stampinup.com, um, anything you want. If you already have what I'm using today, but you want the make and takes, order whatever you want. It doesn't have to be what I'm showing you. It can be anything. Um, as long as you use that host code, I will know you want the make and takes, unless, your order is over $150, don't use the host code because then you get stamp and rewards, which is free stuff, and I will still send you the make and takes, okay? So um, if, you, if you placed your order last week, um, I just mailed these out yesterday. I went to the post office. Usually I do it here at the house. I have a scale and everything, but I went to the post office just to make sure I was putting the right postage on them. Somebody had gotten something from me um, the week before and there was some weirdness with the post office. Imagine that weirdness with the post office. Um, <laughs> and I just wanted to make sure that I was still doing it right. And I was. So anyway, they went out yesterday. Okay, let's flip the camera around and see what we're doing. Um, close your eyes so you don't get motion sickness. Um, you know what I wanted to do is share the video too over on Pink Buckaroo Designs. So let me do that. You guys can take a little sneak peek right here as I turn the camera. Hold on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Things are getting crazy. Hold on. All right. Now I'm going to do that. While I'm doing that over here, you'll see these three projects that I showed you um, yesterday. Um, they're over on my blog and I cannot talk and do this at the same time. So hold on, share to a page. Oh, da, da, do, do, do. Okay, got it. Um, so yesterday I did a little, little thing where I colored the truck three different ways, Stampin' Blends, watercolor pencils, and an aqua painter in classic ink. Don't they all, they're all cute, totally cute, but they all look totally different. Um, I think my favorite is the blends, although I do love the watercolor. Um, watercolor pencils just never get quite vivid enough um, for me. You can see they're all real red. This was a real red watercolor pencil, but look at it compared to the real red um, colored paper. It's a lot lighter and orangier. Hmm. I just found that was interesting. So anyways, if you want a closer look at that, um, the details on what I used for each one, you can go back a day on my blog and you'll find that. Okay, so let's talk about what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you two cards, which are super fun and cute, but we'll get to those in a minute. Um, but let's talk about this guy. This is the truck, the 3D truck. Um, the stamp set of course comes by itself you can get it by yourself ride with me or you can get the ride with me bundle when you buy them together you save 10 percent and i meant to pull out my catalog so i could show you to save that 10 percent there's a special number for the bundle um, so make sure you use the bundle number because if you enter the item number for the stamp set and the item number for the dies you don't save the 10 percent you have to um, use that bundle number. They're listed in the first few pages of the catalog if you don't see it on the page because I don't think they're, I don't think you can see them very well this year in the catalog. But anyway, that's just a side note. Make sure you use the right number for that. 
Okay, so um, you can see the stamp set has all these little things to for windows and, and you know pieces of your truck. This stamp is separate. It doesn't go with a 3D truck um, and it doesn't have a die. So it's two separate things. Now it also has all these cute little sentiments and then it has these cute little things you can put in your truck, which I mean, pumpkins, so cute. Um, we're gonna use the balloons on our 3D truck. There's also a Christmas tree. I have seen some really cute things online already. Um, people putting little Stampin' Up boxes and all kinds of stuff. So you'll have to check it out. It's very cute. Um, now, here's a little caveat for today. I have done a lot of stuff ahead of time just for time's sake. It took me several hours to film the clean recordings this morning of these videos and I wanted to make sure that we could get through today pretty quickly. So you'll notice I've done a lot of things ahead of time. Um, those clean recordings will be available on YouTube if you want to see them um, later on. Okay, so you're going to cut the truck. This is the truck piece. You need a piece of cardstock that is four and a half by six. So you can get two trucks out of one full sheet of cardstock. Now, um, I am using some of the same supplies over and over again. So some of my things may be in the wrong baskets, but hopefully we'll have it all together. All right. Now, I when I first got this, I immediately pulled it out and put it together. And I did some things wrong. So I want you to hopefully learn from my mistakes, okay? One of the things I did wrong was I stamped these little windows and stuff in the wrong segments and one of them upside down. So take your time. And one thing you can do, which is what I did, is I stamped one correctly and I'm gonna leave it in my stamp set like this so I remember um, which way things go. And you guys, help me out, okay? This right here, what do you call this? You guys tell me, what is that called? Is that called a fender right there? Uh-oh, am I getting real glitchy? I told those girls they better be off the internet upstairs. They better be off. Okay, it looks okay. Anyway, who can tell me what that's called? Because I'm not a car person, but I think it's called a fender. All right, so we've got a, a lot of windows. Here's the window for this side of the car. Okay, good, Robin, I was calling it a fender. Oh, look what I just did. Um, I was calling it a fender, and then I was worried that it was not the thing that it was called. So I got ink on the inside right there, but we're gonna just pretend like it didn't happen. Here is the front, it kinda looks like a Jeep to me, um, but the Jeep lines I think go up and down. But anyway, this is the front, and the front is this very, very front segment, and I stamped this one upside down last time. I stamped it like that, so make sure you do the lights at the top. And then, so we've got the front with the lights, then we've got the hood. So the next segment is the front windshield, which we're gonna stamp right there. And I'm stamping everything in Memento. Um, you could do, in a little while, we're gonna do Daffodil Delight ink on Daffodil Delight cardstock. Okay, there's the back windows. Now let's get those fenders. And I don't really know which way they're supposed to go up and down, but I'm just gonna do it the way I wanna do it. We're gonna do one here on the front, and then we're gonna get the other one like this. Now, my best friend from high school, her name's Jackie. I don't think she's watching. Every now and then she pops on, but her husband has a truck, an old red truck that looks just like this. And they, he, his dad had it, even in high school, I remember it in high school, but they still uh, ride it around every now and then. It's so cute. And I always think of her when I'm doing this. She would probably be able to help me with all the names of these. See that little license plate in the back? How cute, right? I love stamping. Okay, I think we've got everything stamped. You've gotta make sure you do all of that before you assemble because there is no way in the world you're gonna be able to stamp all of that once you put it together. Look at all of you who know the name Fender. Will, well, yeah. Ellen, that's probably that sounds more like something that I would call it. And uh, Patsy says Will Hub. Will, well, cover. Okay, well, maybe there are different names for it. I'm gonna take my white watercolor pencil and I'm gonna color in the windows. In the other video that I made, I took my aqua painter and went over it um, with water, which is what you're supposed to do with watercolor pencils. But to be honest with you, on the darker colored cardstock, I like the way it looks without the watercolor. So on this one, 
I'm not going to do that. Another option for the white would be the craft ink pad. You could use the craft ink pad. Um, and you, you could use a chalk marker, although I will warn you, it might ruin your chalk marker. I did that on some craft cardstock. Well, no, it was crumb cake cardstock recently and it ruined my um, chalk marker because I was doing a big area, the magnolia. <laughs> I know, I always think the, of the hardest way possible. Let's, what's the most difficult way to color this? That's what I'll do. Okay, once you have your windows colored in, oh, you wanna do your lights too. And of course the colors are endless. I mean, how many colors does this truck come in? A thousand different colors. These old trucks, you know, they've been painted and repainted. So do whatever you want. I'm gonna take my real red light and go around the fender, AKA will well, AKA what else are we calling it? Um, we'll hit, will well cover. Windows are tinted. Yeah, maybe we could we could do that. Um, I'll show you the difference here. Well, maybe I can't even remember what I did on the first one. That's real. That may have been craft ink. But when I did it today, see how it kind of washes out. I needed to go over with another coat, probably. But it does give it some that glassy feel. Okay, so we did that. Now we're gonna do. We did some some shadow there. Now we're gonna take our light smoky slate and do that handle and that handle. This doesn't feel like light. This feels like dark. Yep, this is dark. All right, well, I better go easy. Ooh, dark. Okay. All right, I think we're ready to put it together. Now, you wanna get your bone folder, which of course mine is in my A. Oh, I found it. And really, you know, find the score lines, take your time and really burnish those lines. And even the little, you know, the little flaps, little tabs here, we've, those are very important too because that's going to create our, our crisp edges. Now, you guys, there are some people on Facebook and um, Pinterest and Instagram that have started creating super amazing vehicles like garbage trucks and um, cranes and UPS trucks and all kinds of awesome, awesome vehicles with this die. So if that interests you, if you like this, you need to go check them out because the sky is the limit apparently. Endless possibilities. All right, I think I got them all. Now, you guys are gonna be very proud of me. We're gonna use Tombow today. If I can find it, goodness, where did it go? Um. You know, Tombo and I, I don't know, we're frenemies maybe. We don't get along so well. And it's not Tombo's fault, I don't think. I think it's more my fault. But I do find that Tombo is your best option because of the wiggle room it gives you. So I just, I'm gonna start here with the front and this needs to go down. I'm gonna line this up. I'm gonna put it closer to the camera so hopefully you guys can see it right here on the hood of the car. And I'm gonna get it where it needs to be and kind of squeeze that, okay? Now, I'm gonna put this guy in. One thing that would work, that would help, I think, is if you had some little tiny clothespins, which you can get at Walmart, um, or you may have already in your little craft drawer, and you clip these together to hold them. You know what, I'm gonna do that right now so that they don't pop open. You know, Tombow does take a few minutes to fully dry. Well, I thought I had some, yeah, here we go. Clothespins are great for getting things to close. All right, we'll put one there. Aren't they cute, these little babies? And one there. Occasionally we have these in our kits and I love them. All right, now we're gonna go to the back. And don't put Tombow all over the place on all your tabs because I don't think you can work fast enough really to make it 
stick and be where you need to do where you need it to go so start let's do the back windows and I put Tombow already in there on the, the bed tabs because they're hard to get to but hold off on that end one all right now that we've got it where we want it let's make sure this closes yep we'll get another little clothes pin Hello, everybody. Library clips. Yeah, you know, you just want something small. Um, those gold library clips, I'm not sure. They might be too, you know, like hard. I'd squeeze it. Well, goodness. Is it going to be that kind of day? So far, it's been a good day. My kids had vacation Bible camp this week. And it's my, my kids are old enough now that they're the helpers. And this year, my oldest drove them I didn't have to drive over there drop them off come back work for two hours drive back oh yeah it's been heaven 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 so all right so I've got all my little tabs all right see we're gonna leave those clothes pins on there so anyway I have had several hours of peace and quiet this week it's been nice but today was the last day Today was the last day. My kids have been going to our church's VBC since they were three. And now they're all old enough to be crew leaders, they call them. Can't believe it goes by so fast. All right, so what I have done ahead of time is I stamped two more of these fenders. Have we lost a wheel? Well, we're going to have a three-wheeled um, <laughs> truck. I have uh, stamped three of them in Memento on Real Red, cut them out. Stamped four tires in Memento on Whisper White. Cut them out. Then, oh, did I just drop it? No. Hmm. All right, moving on. Um, the little grill, the bumper in silver foil. And then I did the, the balloons in Memento on um, Whisper White. So right here, we're going to color them in. And, you know, I'm supposed to have a yellow marker here, but I'm not seeing it. So we're going to do two red balloons. I know where it's at. It's in the next basket. All right, let's do a Call Me Clover balloon. Like that. And I'm not going to do any, like, fancy shading or anything um, because... They're just balloons. But what you can do is take your color remover and right there on that shine, that shine line that the illustrator has added, you can put a little um, color remover right there. And that'll make a little, little bit of variation in your color. Okay, so now you're gonna take your wheels and we're gonna put them, little Tombow, right there. I colored those hubcaps in with that smoky slate marker. Now, we have already done our fender up here, but we cut this fender out, so we'll have one that pops out. Yeah, Gloria, it is. My girls love VBC just as much, if not more, now that they're helpers. And my little one, she's gonna be in fifth grade. Once they go into fifth grade, they become a helper. All right, see how I did that? Popped it up, so cute. You can even take your light, real red, and kind of go in behind to add a little bit of shadow. All right, then we're going to turn it over and we're going to pretend like we have a, a wheel there because I'll have to find that. As soon as I'm done today, I'll find it. It's probably stuck to my leg or something. If you guys ever find your stuff just randomly stuck somewhere? Dimensionals in your bra. Yeah, that's happened. On the dog, in weird places. Okay, I think we can take these off. And we're just gonna add our little bumper here. And then we are done. Oh no, we gotta add the balloons. See right there, you put that right there. 
hold it on for a minute. We'll clip it. We will clip it. There we go. Now the balloons, oh, <laughs> that seems weird. He's up on, he's having his, uh, his oil changed. Um, <laughs> the balloons, you're just gonna put in there like that and just put a little bit of adhesive. Whoa, that was more than a little bit. See what I mean? I have a heavy hand. And they can be flying out the back. So cute. So that's it, you guys. That's how you put it together. It's tedious. It's not difficult. It's tedious, okay? Don't be afraid. You can do it. Um, Stampin' Up! makes it relatively easy, I think, with all the score lines and stuff already on there. Um, and all the little dies and everything. There's a there's two tire dies, so you can cut two at a time. There's two of the fender dies. So give it a try. I think you'll like it. All right, so what do you guys think? Have you ordered the uh, Ride With Me bundle yet? Are you interested? Do you think it's cute? I, you know, when at on stage in April, before, before, you know, on stage they do across the world. So there's people, there are people, there are demonstrators over in like um, Australia who are however many hours ahead of us. So I saw some sneak peeks popping up and before, you know, before I had seen the catalog. And this was one of the first things that I saw and I got so excited. So I'm super happy that it's here and I can play with it now. And I'm really happy that it's relatively easy to put together, not too difficult. All right, moving on, let's do the second project. This time, oh, UPS is here, good. They stopped by earlier and then they drove away. And I was like, what are you doing, people? Bring me my Stampin' Up. Okay, I love this card. This time we're gonna use the, um, the truck stamp, not the die. And we're actually not using the dies at all for this project. We're gonna cut some hearts, but those are from the Be Mine Stitched, Be Mine Stitched Heart dies, all right? Okay, one fun thing that we're gonna do is add some silver. Do you see the, the um, hubcaps and the handle and the bumper are silver? I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, but first let's go ahead and start by coloring. This is another option for you to um, coloring your truck. You can uh, use Stampin' Blends. And so because I'm using Stampin' Blends, I'm stamping with Memento, which is a water-based ink. There we go. And it will not react poorly with the Stampin' Blends. It will react well. It just will stay there, it won't do anything. All right, now, if you use stays on, it'll smear and run. That's an alcohol um, ink. So you want to use your water-based ink with your alcohol markers. All right, I'm gonna start with Pool Party. And this is Pool Party Light. And if you can see, I'm using my brush tip, which I don't usually prefer to use the brush tip. However, this is a big area to color in. So I'm using the brush because I think it gets the job done more efficiently. Now, I'm gonna take my dark Pool Party and only, you know, you wanna work in small sections. Um, because alcohol will dry quickly. And so just work in little small sections, okay? So I'm putting a shadow behind the fender and along the edge of the door. And I'm gonna blend them in with what I put down first with that light. Now if you wanna see this up close, you wanna get a better look at it, you'll want to go see the video that I recorded this morning. It's not live yet, but it will be this afternoon because I was able, because I can edit um, the, I can zoom in so you can really see how I'm coloring. Um, if you really wanna maybe work on your blends and see how people are coloring things. Okay, so I just did the dark there. Now I'm gonna come over here and carefully go around the window. We want the top of the truck to be the lightest and the bottom of the truck to be darker. The light, the sun is up, up above, shining down, making the top light. 
And the other parts have shadow on them from whatever's around the ground, you know, the fender, the bumper. Okay, blend it all in. Oh, I'm rushing and that is a recipe for disaster. Recipe for disaster, slow down. I'm always in a hurry. Everything I do is always in a hurry. Hurry, 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 hurry. I need to slow down. All right, blending that color out. I feel like this needs to be blended in a little bit better right there. Now, I'm gonna take that dark and do this little step here. I want that to be darker. There we go, adorable. All right, now for the silver, this is fun, you guys, this part is fun. I'm gonna take my silicone sheet and my blender pen and my Versamark refill. Now, there are um, things online that tell you you can uh, pull out, you can get an old blender pen, maybe one that's dried up and take some needle nose pliers or something and pull this out and then add this drop 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 in there and you know eventually it'll soak all down so it'll be like a versamark marker um but when i was doing this i didn't really have time for that so <laughs> i just got a little drop and put it on my silicone mat and i'm just going to use it like a paintbrush and just paint it on where i want it versamark is a the ink you use when you're embossing. Now I'm rubbing it really good with my embossing buddy because I don't want that silver powder to stick anywhere except for right here where I'm gonna paint on the Versamark. Now in the past I had tried to do this with a Versamark pad by picking up the ink from the pad, kind of like we would do with our regular inks. Um, but I couldn't get enough Versamark on the blender pen or the whatever I was using. I guess it was a blender pen that way and didn't work. So then I had the epiphany. I was going to put it in my um, blender pen and then I was like, I don't have time for that. I'm just going to dip it in and it works beautifully. Okay. Uh oh. Let's see. Let me get this other side and I'm going to wipe it up. A blender pen is good for picking up messes too. Okay, so now we've got it all there. I'm gonna take my silver. Hello everybody who's joining. Thanks for joining today, TGIF. All right, silver embossing powder, and I didn't bring something to put it the powder in. <laughs> Let's see, we need a little bit more there. You know what, I'm gonna actually add a little dot right there. A little dot right there and try again and I'm seeing that I made a mess I made a mess right there so oh there's like fuzz so one thing one trick let me grab it when you get embossing powder where you don't want it get a paintbrush and just brush it away there's like a hair or a fuzz or something in it and get it out of there we don't want it right there there all right, now that I've made a big old mess, clean it up. I'll have to do this after the video. I'll have to take that to the sink. And let's brush all this away. We're gonna get our heat tool. And wait for it to heat up and it's gonna turn those hubcaps nice and shiny. And the handle. It takes, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 seconds to heat up to that right temperature. And as soon as it does, you will see, oh, there we go, your silver turned kind of like liquid. And don't hold it too, too close to your paper. And you're, you're supposed to move it around so that you don't scorch your paper. I find that this heat tool isn't terribly, terribly hot. It's just hot enough. So I haven't really had that problem. Look at that like liquid silver so beautiful and now you've got a little bit of shine right where you want it isn't that cool i am going to be doing that we have some new embossing powders i think they're called shimmer white shimmer black i'm gonna have to play around with this technique doing that 
All right, so don't ask me why, but there is no framelit to cut out this truck. <laughs> you would think that the dies would have come with one to cut it out, but it did not. Maybe it wouldn't fit in the package, I don't know. But we have two hands and we have scissors so we can make it work. So I'm just gonna take my sharpest, smallest pair of scissors and I'm gonna cut it out. I'm gonna cut that light off because I didn't color it in. Yeah, it's all right, we don't need it. <laughs> and I'm gonna go around all the way around. That blender pen that I was using is actually dry. Um, and I was, like I said, I was gonna fill it with Versamark, but then I was like, ah, I don't have time for that. But I think you could use a regular um, blender pen too, even if it wasn't dry, or a paintbrush. All right, there we go. We're ready to put our card together. Let's do it. Now, we have a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and the measurements are all in that PDF. So go over there and get the PDF if you wanna recreate it. There are three quarters, these strips are three quarters of an inch by about, I don't know, five and a half. You just want it to be longer than your paper. So there's Bermuda Bay, whoops, and then Coastal Gabbana with a little bit of adhesive where we don't want it. And then last but not least, pool party, like that. Then take your scissors, flip it over or your trimmer and cut them off so that they match the edge. All right, now we're gonna stamp the sentiment and we're gonna do part of it here and part of it there. And it's a two piece, uh, it's two lines and it says today belongs to you, dot, 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 ride with the windows open. And I'm gonna do part here and part there. So we're gonna need to get, <laughs> Tony, I know, I know. I mean, it, it already has a lot. It probably would have made it more expensive, you know, and too big. I, you know, dies are already expensive. So think about adding another big die in there. It probably made it a little too pricey. Okay, so I have masked off the bottom line. And I'm going to take Bermuda Bay ink and ink it. Carefully get that out of the way. And I'm going to stamp it right along that line right there. Now, wash it real good. You don't want to get it that top sentiment where you don't want it. Now I'm going to take another post-it note and I'm going to cover up the top line and ink it. Carefully remove that, put it where it is not going to fall on our project and stamp the bottom there. Pretty cool, right? And then we can start layering this guy up. Now I was using my dimensionals before I went live and who knows where they went. Am I looking at them, you guys? No, I haven't used them yet, right? Mm -hmm. Hold, please. Mama's gonna find her dimensionals. Ah, here they are. I was working on next week's Facebook Friday project and it's so cute. Not gonna tell you yet, you have to wait to see. It's very cute. Okay, we're gonna put him like he's going up the little ramp there. Then, already ahead of time, I cut out some hearts from Pineapple Punch. Did you guys see my photo <laughs> of my heart? I lost him last week. Um, I had a, several framelits in my hand like this, and I, I think I even had like three or four of them like this, and I was digging through my scraps, and my scrap drawer was too full, so I had actually taken a bunch and just put it in the recycle bin like this, and then digging some more, and then I found what I needed. It came over, and I was missing that one. It had fallen out of my fingers into either the scrap drawer or the recycle bin, and I just was like, oh, whatever. I don't have time to deal with that right now. So it's been a week. And finally, last night, my husband went to play softball and I was just kind of messing around. I thought, now is the time, Erica. You need to dig through. And believe it or not, I really thought it was in the recycle bin. So I spent 10 or 15 minutes digging through the recycle bin. It wasn't there. And then there it was in the drawer, of course. All right, so three medium, I don't know, I guess large compared to the other ones. Uh oh 
and then a couple of little ones. Now I was thinking what else could you put in the back of your truck? You know, if you felt like hearts were not appropriate, if you were gonna give this to a guy, you could do stars, uh, pineapple punch stars, or uh, I don't know, there's um, a little, I was looking at a stamp set that has a, um, this is a Coastal Cabana piece that I just put on the back. Just a little while ago, I was looking at one of my new stamp sets and it has a, a present, a gift box that looks like it would be the perfect size to go back there. Now, of course, the stamp set comes with the balloons, which we've used, the pumpkins, which we're going to use. Oh, look, <laughs> there's that tire, <laughs> of course. Um, and what else? A Christmas tree. I could not bring myself to do a Christmas tree in June. Pumpkins, yes. Christmas tree, no. Ta-da! We are done with that one. How cute is it? I love it. And I'm thinking of other color schemes you could do pink color scheme you could do an orange color scheme I don't know just I love monochromatic when something is monochromatic and with a punch of color I just love it I hope you guys like that card it's cute it's probably the most simple thing we're doing today however it's my favorite simple always tends to be my favorite when I'm when it comes down to it all right we've got one more project so give me just a second so I can switch everything out the next one I've saved the pumpkins for last. Okay, raise your hand out there if you love pumpkins because I know I've got some sisters out there who love pumpkins just like me. I'm a little bit crazy about pumpkins. It's a little silly. I really like pumpkins, you guys. I mean, I really like them <laughs> so much that I'm doing them here in June. So here are our pumpkins. Aren't they cute? And look how fun the sentiment is. I'll, I'll, I'm always here to pick you up. So it's not necessarily, you know, a fall sentiment or um, a pumpkin spice latte Janice, me too. Um, it's not necessarily a fall sentiment, right? There is one that says happy harvest, but hey, let's make it so we could use it right now, right? I'm always here to pick you up. So cute. Okay, now this, I have done several things ahead of time for this one. And you know, this was the last, clean version video I filmed this morning and it was a disaster. I'll tell you right now it was, oh my goodness, it was a disaster. So hopefully right now when I show you, it will not be a disaster. All right, so we're gonna do kind of a combination coloring on him. I have stamped him in Daffodil Delight ink on Daffodil Delight cardstock and I'm going to take my Daffodil Delight light stamp and blend and I'm just gonna add those shadows like we did on the first one a little bit but I'm gonna go a little more because it's flat and it's I don't know I just feel like we can add a little bit more here all right so there's that and you could even just a little bit under the, the window I mean the um, handle then I'm gonna take my dark and I'm even gonna just do some dark oh I don't like that I, I ruined that tip somehow on that one or somebody did there we go, just a little bit here with a dark. Go back with the light. Kind of blend it all so it's kind of going in a, an arc. There we go. Now we're gonna take our smoky slate. What is this? I feel like this is, no, this is the light smoky slate handle. Now, did you, I don't know, you guys probably can't see from, from there, but when you use these blends on a, on cardstock like this, they really bleed out really fast. So go very lightly, kind of dot, 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 especially in something small like that. Okay, so there we've got that. Um, the tires, I have colored, I have stamped the tires in uh, Memento on white, and we're gonna color the hubcaps with that smoky slate, but then I'm gonna take um, light basic black, and color actually the tire part. Basic black blends are so, 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 so dark that I actually have a hard time using them. But in an instance like this, this is the perfect place to use them where you really just need a black. You can use your smoky slate to get, you know, like the gorilla that we did at Valentine's Day. You could use the smoky slate to look, you know, black-ish. But if you need a really, you know, just a, a tire black, the basic black is good. Now this is the light basic black. The dark basic black is even darker. 
Okay, so now the pumpkins, I stamped them in Memento. Again, Memento, because we're using the blends. And I'm coloring them in with a um, light pumpkin pie. And I'm not going to do a whole lot of shading, but what I am going to do is just kind of outline a few of the lines on the pumpkin. And those pumpkins behind there need to be a little bit darker. Then I'm going to come back with my light and I'm going to bring that color down a little bit past the image because when we cut it out, we don't want any white back there, especially the one that we're going to just put behind the grass. Okay. All right, let's do it again. I um, wish that we had more fall Halloween stamps. I, mean, I know that maybe they're not big sellers, so Stampin' Up! doesn't do a lot of them, but oh my gosh, they're my favorite. And in two weeks, when I'm in Greece with a Stampin' Up! incentive trip, we get the holiday catalog. We're the first ones that get to see it. And that's always the first thing I do is flip to the back to see what the fall and Halloween offerings are. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? My gosh, I feel like we just finished the holidays. I know we start things really early, but that's how it goes. We start early so that when you guys need it, we have it and we're ready. And then by the time the holidays get here, I feel like we've the holidays have been going on for forever because they have. All right, Old Olive is what I did right there on that on those um, leaves. Now I'm going to stand up. I had pulled my chair in today. I usually stand up the whole time, but oh, 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 I forgot. Um, but I color, I cannot color very well when I am standing up. Now we're going to do the same thing here that we did on that first project. I'm taking the white watercolor pencil and just coloring that, that window in. Okay, now bring this back over. And we're gonna do several things here. Of course, we know we're gonna have to fussy cut that one, but that's okay. The rest of them have dies, two tire dies, and, oh, darn it, let me take that plate out. Then now that should work. Down here. Oh, pumpkin cheesecake, Polly, you are speaking my language. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. I love pumpkin, just everything. I, um, in the fall, make a, like a protein shake with pumpkin in it. That's really good. Actually, look, I stamped that one twice, but you know what? That's okay. I think, I think I meant to do that. Um, yeah, I'm one of those crazy girls. And not just pumpkin flavor, I just like pumpkins. They're so cute. I buy a lot of pumpkins for decorations. And last year, when when we were putting up fall decorations and I just got everything out of the box and kind of set it all out, I was like, oh my God, I hope my husband doesn't see all this. I had a ton, I mean a ton of little pumpkins to decorate with. <laughs> <laughs> and then our church has a pumpkin patch, which the girls always volunteer at. So then we get more because, you know, it's for a good cause. That's what I always tell them. It helps pay for their summer mission trips. So why not? Why wouldn't we? I have a very warped view of spending money. I know. You don't have to tell me. I know. All right, me too, Lisa. I can't wait for the holiday catalog. It is a fun one. Okay, so now we've done all that. And now, you know what? There's something else we're gonna do. Let's bring this back over here. We're gonna get those little fenders, Will Wills, thingamabobs. We're gonna put them right there. We're gonna take the circle, the tire circle die, like that. Oh, come on, behave. And we're gonna cut out that circle so that we'll be able to see the full tire. It won't cover the tire. Carefully. Ooh, pumpkin flan, yum. Pumpkin, I, I've never, I probably have never met a pumpkin something I didn't like. Okay, let me put these on here so that I don't lose those because those are tiny and I probably will lose them. Where's the other, there we go. 
if Sue is watching, she'll be proud of me. I'm putting them on there. Okay, now, get this out of the way. We are finally done with this guy. We gotta cut him out. How are we doing on time? Oh my gosh, I'm totally doing so good on time. All right, now, I'm gonna just cut the tires off right here because we're gonna cover those up anyway with our new tires. I was really worried about these projects taking way too long today, but I still have 15 minutes. I try to always be done by three. Usually I have to go pick up my daughter from school, but not today. Thank goodness, we're supposed to be, our heat index today is supposed to be like 109. So we will not be going anywhere. Okay, so cut this guy out around the outside edge. Now, hopefully we didn't lose tires this time. Nope, we did not. That one is kind of cut crooked. Mm, glue dots right here. All right, let's just use some glue dots and we'll put this one here. Okay, and then this one here. Now, with those cute little fenders that we cut out, which are right here, and we'll flip those over and get our little mini dimensionals and put those on with mini dimensionals. Oh, sorry for that squeaking. There must be one stuck to the bottom. Come on. Oh, behave. We'll put this one on. He's very anxious to get on there, I can tell. There we go. I love the dimension that this creates. Uh, makes this truck, you know, three, not three dimensional maybe, but it's not flat. It's much more dimensional. <laughs> How cute you guys look. So cute. Now let's take our pumpkins and I'm just gonna take tiny, tiny, tiny bit of Tombow. Boy, my Tombow is getting a workout today. S seeing more light of day today than the whole past year. Now glue that behind there and there's your truck. Now let's put it all together with our card. Did I get the rest of that out of there? Mm, I thought I did. Did I bury it underneath? No, it must be over here. Oh good gracious. Is this the wrong basket? This is the wrong basket. That's why it's not in there. Here it is. Now I have cut out two um, pieces of grass. Remember this from last week? This is from the little wiggle worms dies. So we're gonna use that, cut it out in old olive. This is the Pressed Petal Designer Series paper and I am in love with this paper. It's lightweight paper um, and you get a whole bunch of it in a package and I love it. This is, um, I don't know, I think I used some of it last week. I'm using it this week and I think I'm using it next week. I like it. Okay, so one little grass doesn't go across. So you're gonna need kind of like one and a half little pieces of grass, okay? So I'm gonna do that one. And then this one, we'll just kind of piece it together like that. This one, I, I didn't overlap them very well, so do it over on this side, because then you can take your truck and kind of position it so that it's over it. All right, let's slide our pumpkins down in the grass, like the truck came to pick up the pumpkins, because here, our pumpkins would definitely be in the green grass. In October, the grass is still mighty green. There we go, they're tucked in. And then some dimensionals for the yellow truck. Now, I love that grass dye too. Who said that, Judy? I do, yes. Now see, we can kind of overlap. We could put the, the tire behind those pumpkins and this tire overlapping. Eh, it's not straight, I don't like that. Let's do like, hmm. Well, all right, I don't like that either. Well, whatever, we're gonna leave it. It's gonna go that way. Another toothpick, we used toothpicks last week. We're using toothpicks again. If you didn't buy toothpicks at the grocery store, you better go buy them. You need them. All right, couple glue dots. Now, we need a piece of Whisper White. Is this all the Whisper White I have left? 
Where's my stamp? You can always tell I'm down to the third project because I say, where's this, where's that? Can't find this, can't find that. Everything is just piled up on my desk. All right, we're gonna use this little scrap. I'm always here to pick you up in pumpkin pie and I will get my little baby trimmer and cut it off. I just want it to be the height and pretty much the width of the sentiment. So I don't know what the size is. It's just the size of the sentiment. And I am going to cut a V because it's a little flag on the left side like that. And let's put a dimensional on the back like that and bring our card back over. And we're going to put it right there. But wait, we need a bow. So let's get the Grapefruit Grove um, 1 8 inch grow grain ribbon. This is a great ribbon for your cards because it's not too bulky. And snip, snip, and a glue dot. And did I get it? We're done. Ta da! What do you guys think? So cute. I think it's my favorite. I said the other one was my favorite, but I don't know. What do you guys think? We've got the pumpkins and we've got the monochromatic. And then of course we've got the, the little 3D truck and we're done for the day. You guys, what do you think? How many of you are going to order it? If you haven't already, I hope I have convinced you that you need this set. It's not just for making 3Ds. I know a lot of you don't like making 3Ds and that's okay. Look, I made two adorable cards and really, I mean, you could make so many different um, cards with a truck and it goes over, you know, crosses over seasons because it has the Christmas tree. The sentiments, we've got wishing you loads of Christmas cheer. Happy harvest, that's for fall. And then today belongs to you, ride with the windows open. That's anytime. I'm always here to pick you up. And then of course, a birthday sentiment. So you could use it all year and it would make great masculine cards. Um, and I just think it's awesome. All right, you guys, make sure you get the PDF. Um, your order needs to use this host code by Monday, the 24th at midnight, $30 or more. Use the host code. Um, the follow your art class, the sign up is here. Paper shares, please, if you want to sign up right here or message me. Um, those will be a really quick turnaround, I promise you. Um, I want to get those done before I leave for um, Greece for sure. So make sure you do that. And of course, if your list is over a hundred is over a hundred dollars, it just makes sense to buy that starter kit. The details are right here. Ninety nine dollars and free shipping. Yeah, plus all the perks that come along with being on my team. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I will be back next week on Friday at two o'clock with a surprise. A slew of projects. I don't want to tell you yet. I want to make sure I have them all planned before I promise anything to you, but I think it'll be fun. And then that'll be the last Facebook Live for a while because I'll be in Europe for a few weeks. You guys are wonderful today. I will go back and look to see if anybody has um, any questions and um, I will see you next week. Thanks you guys so much. Have a great week. Bye-bye.